Elton Hassaby can spend the afternoon jumping without running out of breath. It's playtime for his sisters. For Colton, it's a miracle. To see these milestones is just incredible. You guys can play on the playhouse, yeah. Five months ago, Colton had an asthma attack. He was wheezing. Uh, we just did what we would normally do and just give him his puffer. But it wasn't enough. Colton's father rushed him to BC Children's Hospital. When they arrived in the emergency waiting room, the 10-year-old had a heart attack. I yelled, uh, I need help here right now, and there was just happened to be a fellow standing there. He came running right out from the back, basically scooped him up with one arm. Colton stopped breathing and lost his heartbeat for 15 minutes while doctors and nurses fought to resuscitate him. I was in shock. I'm like, no, we just sent him in for his asthma. Like, it, I, don't, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean CPR? And, um, and then I had to drive myself to the hospital and thinking that he wasn't, he wasn't alive anymore. <laughs> After several rounds of compressions and medication, Colton's pulse came back, but the brain damage had already set in. The brain is, is quite dependent on supply of oxygen and, and sugar, glucose, um, and if it's deprived of either for more than three to five minutes, you can start to see some effects similar to a stroke. Colton lost his vision. He couldn't eat or walk. Frustrating, because I wanted to go home really bad. Instead, he moved to the Sunny Hill Health Center where a team of therapists helped Colton learn the basics again. They were very helpful and kind. I'm so glad they dedicated their time to me. After only a month, Colton regained his skills and independence. He moved home and returned to school, beating all odds. I think it truly is one of the rare mir miracles. We were just very fortunate to to have everything happen in the right place at the right time. The fact that they did is, is amazing. And we'll thank them forever for it. There you go. You get it? Colton still struggles with his fine motor skills. His goal now, to regain his mastery of Lego. Tanya Beja, Global News.